celebrate Malud Nabi, which is the birthday of Prophet Muhammad, members of uh, Nasrullahi Fathi Society of Nigeria, NASFAT, have urged Nigerians to emulate the virtues of the Prophet in terms of peaceful coexistence and trustworthiness. The faithful Seth is during a Malud Nabi celebration at Alausa Central Mosque. Senior correspondent Adijoja Salama Deniyi reports. The celebration kicked off with praises of Allah. Then prayers for the Prophet of Islam, the purpose in which they have gathered. For the chief missioner of Nasrullah Ifati Society, Abdulaziz Onike, the gathering is to encourage both Muslims and non-Muslims in Nigeria to imbibe the culture of tolerance and peaceful coexistence that the Holy Prophet Muhammad practiced and preached throughout his lifetime. Live and let live. There's an addition of the prayer that says, La Dorara Wala Dirara. Don't inflict harm and don't allow any other to inflict harm upon you. Allah, in his infinite mercy, has decided to make us to practice different religions. There is no composing our religion. Prophet live, and he never forced anybody to become Muslim. And I want to imbibe that culture in Nigeria. He also seeks patience and support from Nigerians for President Bolatinumbu to take Nigeria to the promised land. Things that have been destroyed for so many years, you know not expect him to come and repair it in 100 days. All that must be on deck to assist the president in bringing back the ship of the truth in Nigeria that has gone astray. Mulud Nabi is celebrated to give thanks to Allah for sending Prophet Muhammad as a mercy to mankind to ask for continued blessings on the Prophet as Allah and his angels send blessings on him. During his own lifetime, everything that is entrusted to him is, is well kept and that is why it was named Ali Amin, the trustworthy. We realize that the Prophet Muhammad is the seal of our prophet and even the seal of our prayer. This is the opportunity for us to sit down and reflect on our way of life. The ones that we feel we need to work on, we need to work on it based on what the Prophet left for us. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala... Prophet Muhammad was born in 570 CE in Mecca. He died in Medina in 632 AD at the age of 63. Visiting Medina isn't part of Hajj or Umrah rites, but the unique merits of the Prophet's city, its mosque, and its sacred tomb in Medina attract every program who wants to see where the Prophet lies at Roda and offer prayers. Peace be upon him. Adidoja Salam Adini, TVC News, Lagos. Joining me on the news this hour is the Chief Missioner, Nasfath Abdulaziz Unike. Thank you for talking to us on the news tonight. Uh, talk to us about the importance of this festivity for Nigeria and its leaders at such a time like this. We thank the Almighty Allah for giving us the opportunity of witnessing another Mawlid in Abi. What does today portend for the average Muslim? Today reminds us the kind of life that our new Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi lived. Today helps us to have increased love for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Today gives us the opportunity to showcase our new Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as the epitome of peace, epitome of mercy, epitome of justice, epitome of goodness. Today gives us the opportunity of letting the entire world know that a man passed through this world and he changed the paradigm. Before he became prophet, before the advent of Prophet, the tribes in the Arabian land, Arabian land, they did not want to see eye to eye. Before he became prophet, in the Arabian land, they were killing women. It was the coming to existence of the prophet that eliminated that. Before the prophet came into existence, there was no love lost between period tribes, tribes in the Arabian light, land. Prophet came and he became the unifier. Prophet came and he ensured that people of different faiths lived happily. And that, not that lesson should continue to rub off on whatever we do, even in Nigeria. 
as of today. Prophet lived with no Muslims. He allowed them to practice their religion. He even said, whoever makes life difficult for a Zimmi, Zimmi meaning a weak, no Muslim. Somebody is not practicing Islam. He says, whoever makes life difficult for him or her, that person will not be with me in paradise. And then he allowed the Christians from Nigeria to about 60 of them to visit him in his mosque. When it was time for them to do their service, he gave them a portion of his mosque to do their service. That was a new word, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the working for a heart. And every Muslim is expected mm. to live his life according to the dictate of a new word, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I hear you, Chief Missioner. If I can just jump in very quickly to ask you uh, what you think is the gap between the lifestyle of the Prophet and the millions of his followers today, particularly in our country, and what can be done to bridge that gap in character? The gap is lack of knowledge. And that is why NASAT as a society has decided to focus on four things, health, education, livelihood, and dawah. Dawah means propagating Islam. Calling back to the view of Allah, teaching them, giving them the good teachings of Islam. Every month in NASAT, we take training around all our zones. We have 26 zones, Canada, US, UK, Kano, Kaduna, Sokoto, Togo, Cote d'Ivoire. We take training around and teach people the correct teachings of Islam. That is what is missing in the life of some of us, some of our, of our multiple brothers and sisters. If you are exposed to the teachings of the prophet, the way you should be exposed to it, if you are exposed to the ways of life of the prophet, the way you should be exposed to it, if you are, have misconceptions clear about Islamic teachings, fundamentals and values, your Islam will be better and become a very good Muslim. Oh. And that's not natural. It's focusing on knowledge. Mm. We have become a knowledge-driven society. You cannot come to Nasfa for two months, for two, for two years or one year without having deep knowledge of our religion. We call it train the trainers course in Islam, Dawa, and dialogue. Children. Youth, the elderly ones, the council of elders, the women, we gather them every year in our in all our zones and expose them to the correct teachings of Islam. All right. Even our Pante University. So Chief Missioner, I know there's a lot to say, but there's I such little the time. Yes. So we'll probably we continue this conversation subsequently. Chief Missioner Nasfat Abdulaziz Onike, thank you so much for talking to us on the news. Thank tonight. you for inviting me to this forum. I'm very grateful.